Hey everybody, so in the last video what we did was we set up ClearPass, we got it to the point where we had to enter the licenses. So here it is, it's it's running, it's right in this area, it's on VLAN 5. Let's go into the, it's into the dashboard. Okay, so here it is, ClearPass. Status is okay, it's, it's running, everything looks good. So we have the dashboard, monitoring, configuration, administration. What we're going to work on is we're going to go into configuration. Well, what I'll do first, though, is I'm going to show you that this is working. I've already set up this, this configuration. And let's just see what it looks like from the switch's perspective. All right, so this switch right here is let's see how it's set up let's see if we first well let's log in okay so we'll go enable so right now i don't have to get to the console it gives me the non-privileged mode so i enable it's going to use see now it's using tac -X plus right here so i will log in with my domain account All right, so I'm in. So if we do a show run, I can see everything's working. Here you can see a bunch of clear paths. This is defining the TACAC server. This is telling it how to connect, what to go to first, second. Um, there's also some .1x stuff in here that's not really part of this video, but will be in future videos. Um, okay, so that is, that's what we're trying to do. So let me also, let's do another one though. Let's exit out of here. And exit, oh, I am exited, so enable. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the local Aruba clear pass database to log in. So uh, there's a user on there called TACAX. And oh, let's see if I can remember the password. And there we go. And let's do a failed one now. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a failed login. So enable test. Let's do TACAX user for the TACAX user. And I'll just type in gibberish. And there you see authentication failed. Okay, and we can also go into our Docker container. SSH. So I'm going to do Chris R at 10.150.5.0. I believe that's the, yeah, that's my, that's my switch because I have a VLAN and an SVI configured for that. All right, so this is going to be, and I got authorization failed. Let's see what I did wrong. So let's try that again. There we go. Let me conf let me make sure that's the right password. Uh, Chris. Show IP interface brief. Let's look at that. 10, 10.155.10. So that is right. Um, let's see. Why is that not working? 10.155.10. 10. Let me try the TACAX user.
Okay, so right now that's, for some reason, SSH is not working on here. The enable password is working. And I think this may have been because of a change I made. And I think I know why that is. I think, and I'll show you why. Let's take a look. All right, so now that we've done a bunch of logins, you can go to monitoring tab, access tracker, live monitoring, access tracker, and you can see all of these, these connections, right? So here is where we start it, right around here. So if we go into that, we can see the request, the attributes. So it's going against the authentication source, test EVAD. We can also see the attributes, domain admins, Chris R, users, test Eve lab. Yep, this looks good. Checks the account expires, checks the member of. And if it's a member of domain admins, it gives it the top rights. So the policy given was TACAX, Cisco, privilege 15, test Eve AD. Perfect. Um, okay, let's go to, so we can see here, another pass from 5.10, remote IP 5.10. Let's see if we can find those failures. So I really, I don't see those failures coming in here. Um, here's a failure, but this looks like just a bad password. So there, there's the error here, incorrect password. Okay, so let's go briefly over how this is configured right now, and then we'll set up a new one. So we go into configuration, we go to sources, and you can see, I'm sorry, services is what we want to go to. Cisco 3750 wired TACAX. I have that on right now. I'm going to turn that off in a, in a little bit. But what this is doing is it has a nice summary tab that shows you everything that's set up already. So it's, it's going to match any of these. So these are the addresses of the switches that it's so 5.10, 5.3, 5.2, 254.20. So all of those it can authenticate. Authentication sources, either test EVAD or local user repository. I think that might be causing a problem on from the login. Let's look here. Services. Looks good. So now you the summary shows you everything. You can't change anything here. But then you go into these tabs, service. You can change these. You can add, you want to add another network device. You can add it right here. So this is TACAX plus enforcement. That's the type. Authentication, test EVAD, local user repository. So either one. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out, I don't know. I'm not going to take that out right now. Let's, let's continue looking at this. Roles and enforcement. So here's the enforcement. The role matches TACAX super admin. So if this role matches that, then it gives you the enforcement profile, which is TACAX Cisco privilege 15. So we can look now at the role. So the role for the user TACAX, which is a local user. So let's look at local users. TACAX, there you can see the role is TACAX super admin. That's why that matches that. Um, okay. Let's go back. Or it's a member, it's authorization test EVAD member of domain admins. Okay. TACAX Cisco Priv 15.
All right. And that's in the enforcement policy, Cisco admin network policy. So let's look at that enforcement policy. So then, so we got the service, you add the policy, then we can look at the policy right here. So anything without these brackets, that's going to, going to be something that's been created by the user. So Cisco admin network policy. So you can see here, we could change, we have the summary again. You can see the role matches or authorization for that. So I think if I pull that role, that rule out, let me see if I do that. I'm going to remove this rule and I'm going to save it. Now I want to go back here. I just want to see if this works for SSH at least. TACX. It's still giving me the authorization failed. All right, I'll have to see why that's not working for SSH. I thought it was maybe that this, this policy adding that authorization in there was causing it, but it doesn't look like it. Let's see if we, do we have anything new in live monitoring? Yeah, so this is the, you, you can see right here, it's saying status pass. Yeah, it's, it's passing the status, it's policy. Let's see what else we have, computed attributes. Local user repository, 3750, yep. Policy, tag X, Cisco, priv 15. Oh, you know what? I think that that wasn't what I wanted to remove. So in the priv 15, let's go back there. I think I just removed the AD thing unnecessarily. But if we go back to, let's see, where is that located? So we've got the priv 15. So is that a policy? Let's look. Here it is, Cisco priv 15. So it's a profile. What I had to do was I had to add this shelled roles network admin and this is really, so this should be, I should copy this. Let's copy this. Okay, so copy of, let's go in there. I'm gonna change the name of this. I think I have to do it here. I'm gonna call this Nexus. So for Nexus, when you do TACX, you've gotta send back a role and that's I added that to there after when I was testing Nexus okay so I think there save that so now we have a now we should have a Nexus one and a regular one so let's go back to the regular one let's clear that so we go to service services and we'll just clear that out, save. So now all that this is doing is just sending back, a, you know, your level 15, go for it, you're good. Let's make sure that's true. Yep, shell, privilege level 15. Okay, so I think that's what we wanted to do. Okay, so I gotta log back in. So hopefully this works now. Okay, just waiting for this to come up. Okay. All right, so let's go back to this Docker. I believe it was this one.
There we go. Test. And there, we're in. So now, see that? That was the problem. It was getting back. And we can enable. Go run. So that, that was the issue right there. Okay, so that's an overview of what we want to do and how we're, what we're going to build in the next few videos. So thank you for joining, and please come back and see some more. Thanks.